What is up, YouTube? It's your boy, Big Blue Bug, back with another episode of Farm Together. And today, as you might already be able to see, we are greeted by... Bring the party? There! <laughs> is that what you were looking for? You're looking yeah. for me to say my own name? I can't always... You, you, okay, we're greeted by the very great Bring the Party. Is that, is that what you wanted? That is like a lot better than what you just did. Is this your last episode, dude? You're gonna stay at the beginning of the episode? What? You're gonna tell them all that's my last episode at the beginning? I always wait till the end. Wait, really? It is my last episode. Don't you want everyone to be hyped for the future of Farm Together, though? Well, the... Well, yeah, I guess we'll talk about it now. Yeah, this is my last episode of the Let's Play series, but I intend on still farming offline. Why? And then... Huh? Why? You know what's funny? I'm actually slightly annoyed that I've decided that this is my last episode. Because for some reason, it just started picking up a little bit of speed. Wait, really? <laughs> yeah. It's taken all the time. I was getting like eight views in some of the videos, and now all the recent videos get like 30, and I'm like, wait a second. <laughs> What's oh. going on here? <laughs> oh. But, uh, no, Sounds I'm... like it's not the last episode, guys. It's going to episode 100. No, I'm going to start. Uh, I think. So, one, I've been kind of hesitant to uh, start doing builds because I didn't want to do, like, a bunch of stuff offline, like, off this Let's Play series. So, my intention is to start doing just builds. Like, I can keep playing and farming and all that and then we'll oh, get cool. builds like on a weekly basis maybe even more than one once a week hear me out though hear me out can hmm. i give a, an idea yeah yeah what this is... could be your plants for zombies oh my goodness you're over here talking about uh oh, zach what? scott games his big game his big game is plants for zombies i think he's on almost episode a thousand I'll tell you right now, this isn't my plans for zombies. It could be, though. It could be your plans for zombies, Noah. I don't even think plans for zombies has that much content. I don't know how he does Ah, uh, Zach Scott would say otherwise. Have you watched his series? I actually have. Have you? I have watched a couple episodes. And? Where does he get the content? So, they constantly release, like, new things, like new towers. What, like, weekly events or something? Or, like... Yeah, weekly events. They they release a lot of new towers. So every time a new tower is How released, how many he towers them. are there that he has a thousand episodes? Are they just like a bunch different of different events? Uh, new unlocks, new bosses. Dude, you know how many levels there are? There's like as many levels to that as there is on Candy Crush. Oh, I didn't even know that. Oh yeah, no, 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 no. no. They just keep adding more levels. Like it is like uh, there's probably over a thousand levels. Candy Crush is a good, uh, a good comparison. I think so too. The another other day, mobile I was, app. And, so yeah. I was doing a market report the other day. Josh Ooh, nice. And I was yeah, doing yeah. a market report on women around the age of like 40 to like maybe 55. Heat candy crushing. And I was looking them up on Facebook. And after I removed uh, politics from it. Of course. Good uh, old politics. That's always going to get a nice up, amount of interest. Up Facebook search every time. Yeah. After I removed politics from it, Candy Crush was one of their most followed pages. And I was like, this is actually hilarious. That it's actually <laughs> proven that the Candy Crush is one of their most followed pages after uh, politics I have, and I, Walmart. I have to tell you something. What? So they have weekly events on Candy Crush. You don't play Candy Crush. Alex's mom. Uh... Yeah. Was number three in the United States. <laughs> <laughs> of course she was. Oh, no. No, that was on Words with Friends. I'm sorry. That wasn't on Candy Crush. That was Words with Friends. Might be. Might be. That's Words with Friends. That's a huge Might. difference, Josh. I know. I know. I know. Never mind. It wasn't Candy I Crush. I can't believe you just did that. Actually. I know. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do that to her. Do her like that. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, she's number three in the world on uh, uh, United States on uh, Words with Friends, not Candy Crush. How do you even become number three in the word on the state of Words with Friends? You have to be playing with other people. She plays with random people. I believe so. Uh, are there any mushrooms around? Did you just sell our mushrooms, you son? 
What? I just sold everything. What do you mean? Why'd you sell everything? We need them to make things. Our paintings. Oh, no, I haven't sold anything. Oh, no, I literally just, just sold the mushrooms. Here, I'll grab a few more. How many mushrooms do you need? I'll just eight. Here you go. I'm trying to get mushrooms. tickets. Ooh, why do you need tickets? We're, well, actually, I'm doing one of the Is this a ticket to ride? Ticket to ride. No. Uh, <laughs> I want to uh, design these houses, which is like one of my big to-dos. And they require mushrooms. Okay. The paint How are you designing design these houses? All right. Sounds a little too herbal for me. Herbal? What? What are you, what are you saying over there? You're, you're using mushrooms to design these houses? Mushroom paintings? Oh, paintings. Okay, that's acceptable. Can you click the hay thing? The silo? It's in the. It's right outside of the uh, the Spanish house to the left. Mm -hmm. Clicked it. Did you? I just did. Crap, so it's not wheat we're waiting on. It's fish? You sold our fish to me, you jerk. Yes. Mmm. Who <laughs> sold that fish to? Yep. I did do that. Dude, how am I, I? Should I just not sell anything? Like, why am I even here? I'm just trying to help you farm, dude. Collect. That's all you want me to do? All the animals are starving. Every I'm one of them. them. Starving. Oh, I'm feeding them right now. Ooh, you what? want to tell the funny story about Jax from yesterday? Oh. So yesterday, my younger brother had friends over. So Jax, Jax gets kind of territorial. And uh, I don't mean that in like an aggressive way. He just kind of like doesn't like people in his house and he'll just bark at them. And then like try and herd them out of the house. Like, like he's like, no, don't come in here. Why are you in here? Get out of here. And for some reason yesterday, we've been doing a lot of training with him. So we're trying to get him to be like a really good pup. So we've been doing a lot of training with him. What do you want me to plant? Literally nothing you need I know. right now. Uh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Peas are almost in. Soybeans are almost in season. Um, so we've been doing a lot of training with him. And da, 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 da. Anyways, um, I was sleeping. I went up to my bedroom. I don't even know what time it was. It was probably like 8 or 9. And my younger brother had friends over. So he comes upstairs. We only need 40 soybeans, by the way. So lays in my room. Uh oh. You going to plant the soybeans? Or do you want me to plant them? Okay. So, comes in my room, lays down. Doors start opening. Uh, he goes downstairs, barks for a split second, comes right back up, lays back down. I'm like, hmm, that's interesting. My younger brother is trying to get Jax to meet all his friends. So, Jack, so he's calling him. He's like, Jax, Jax. And then he's like offering him treats. He's like, Jax, I got treats. And Jax goes to the top of the stairs and looks downstairs and sees Ben. And he starts opening up the door to try and get him to like, come down and ch go out the door he's like sitting outside he's saying every trigger word he can and jack's just like kind of tilting his head and then comes back and lays right back down next to me so i think he's kind of just decided his friends are a stressful situation i think i'ma just stay up here with you guys so he just laid in my room the entire time while ben was trying to bait him with treats and snacks and all this other stuff uh to try and get him to go downstairs and see everyone he's like no nah, it's okay Today I am away from them. I'm with one of my owners. I think we're in a good place right here. <laughs> yeah, I will sit right here. I you think want... I feel pretty safe right here. Yeah. Uh, well, I think the uh, you want. What do you want? Whatever's the most expensive. Do I need horseshoes? Wait, did I do not do the horseshoe? I, I have done the horseshoe thing. That's what I thought. Um. I'm trying to find most it. expensive? Something expensive that's like a little bit longer. Uh, chickpea is four hours. Is that really? It's like 200. Yeah, nothing's gonna run you that much, dude. It looks like beets make you 400 a plant. But they're only 800 to plant. We could do, I guess, watermelon. Ends up making you... Dude, that's gonna take us forever to plant, but we can do it. So, Whatever. Let's fill all the fields with watermelon. so yeah, so we actually got Jack's professional training recently, and um, they said that we should just avoid situations where he's stressed. 
So like we've been kind of teaching him that like he has his safe spots in the house where if he goes there, no one's going to interact with him. And like he can sit there and watch, but no one's going to approach him that like either A, he doesn't like or B, he doesn't want them to approach them. So it's usually only like me and Noah, maybe my dad. He kind of, and my mom, he, he kind of, he likes his space. He likes his space. So anyways, we've been trying to teach him that like he has these spaces. And if you lay here, no one's going to engage with you. Like that's your space. And he's really been trying to like, he's been adapting to that. So I think that's why he chose our bedroom. He goes, okay, my usual space is downstairs in that one room, but there's other people there. And Josh is up here and this is our bedroom. And I can lay here and no one's gonna engage with me. And I kind of think that's was what was going through Jax's mind. He's like, hey, if I lay here, no matter what anyone does, I am good and safe and won't be bothered. So. He ended up laying in my room the entire night and was very comfortable and fell asleep and hung out and no one bothered him. And I think he was really happy with that. And that's kind of my train of thought on why he did that. But I don't know. I can't, I can't talk to dogs. No stu uh, no Doolittle, you know? Uh, no Dr. Doolittle. I was going Elijah Thornberry. Oh, mm, good analogy too. Really good analogy it's there. Yeah, the no Elijah Thornberry. Yeah. 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 Anyways, he was, he was really happy just laying in that room. I definitely think as a herding dog, he kind of needs like a place where he can not work. Because he's always working. Like he's always he literally. Job. We call it his job. He does this thing where he like runs in our backyard and we have like four or five gopher holes. And he goes for a dead sprint to these holes, sticks his whole head in them, and then he'll go to the next hole and the next hole. And then he does like two laps around the house and then he'll go back to the holes. And then he comes inside. And it's maybe like a five or ten minute sequence. But like when he's doing this, this is his job. He is he is working. It's like, don't yeah, you can't get him to get off that either. No. If you try and call him in, he won't even react. He's going to go to the next gopher hole. He's like, I am working right now. Bother me when I'm done. I need so to make sure funny. that there aren't any gophers out here. Which is funny because he's not even like a tracking dog. He just, I think he just found that those have interesting sense. And that's fun to him. Well, the interesting thing is every time our friends come over and they see him do that, they go, did you train him to do that? Because, like, at night, he'll also go around the house one or two times, run around the entire house to make sure no one's out there. I'm, assu I'm assuming it's for animals because we have a lot of animals where we are, but it could also be for people. And he'll run around the entire house to make sure, like, no one's out there. And all our friends were like, did you train him? We're like, no, he's just he just does that. That's just, that's just Jax. Literally taught himself. Because it, it would be, like, a good thing if you were to think about, like, a, a dog for, like, protection. Like, that is a great routine to get your dog on. Run around the entire house to make sure no one's outside and no one's approaching and yeah, scans everything, live, checks all the spots. The yeah, live in the middle of nowhere. So, there'll never be anyone outside. If it was, it would be our neighbor. And they would not stay very long. They would be chased off the lawn. <laughs> what are you doing here? If they get were off. greeted by Jax, yeah, I don't think they would, uh be too inclined to hang They'd out. They'd be like, all right, guys, I'll see you later. Thanks for the uh, introduction. I will be sneaking out now. Oh, Jaxie. Dude, this little medieval area is pretty cool. I uh, th th did that in the last episode, I think. I'm trying to remember. I think I did. What up with the dolphin, though? The statue? It's not just yeah. the dolphin. Don't do that. It is a dolphin. Milk thing. Wait, aren't we ah, for the milking hour. Do we not make cheese? Have I not been making cheese? No, oh, wait, you can't even eat cheese. Oh, that's in Josh. <laughs> <laughs> Have we been selling milk? Yeah, you have a milking station right by the cows. Why? You do it! I don't know! You built the station! Should be making and selling cheese. We're a dairy farm! How we become a dairy farm? Forever! We've always been a dairy farm. No, I got something really funny over here. Can you come over here? Yeah. Thanks. Solo jam. Where do you, you see me? Keep coming. Keep other way, other direction. Yep. No, no, other direction. No, go down the path to your left. Oh, 
Where you going? Yep. No, you're the way. <laughs> you ran the other way. Hit M. I have gone every cardinal direction. No, you have not. I'm literally watching you run every. Yes, keep running that way. Keep running that way. Yep. I have gone every yep. cardinal yep. direction. Nope. Yep. Okay. I've already okay. gone this way. Go right. Go right. Go... Yep, here I am. I got you these fireworks. Remind you of Risk of Rain, your favorite item. Oh, thanks. That's it. Uh, wow. <laughs> that was all I wanted to show okay, you. Can you what... come over here and get a shot of me with the uh, with the dairy yeah. as we turn this place Wait, where are you going? Right where, here. Where right am I going? Here. Where am I going? Ah, Wisconsin. <laughs> yes, Wisconsin. <laughs> Yes, Wisconsin. <laughs> Come on, that was pretty well, funny. Full. This is where I want to be, Wisconsin. Right with here. With my bees heads. You ever go to Wisconsin? No. I went to Wisconsin. You went though, right? Mm, high school girlfriend. Mm -hmm. How and was that experience? Wisconsin kind of sucks. <laughs> Wait, why? <laughs> Name what's in Wisconsin. Name anything. Bet you can't think of it because there cheese is cheese heads. That's about that's it. yeah. That's their their selling factor is cheese. And I'm like, that's it, and that is in reality it. Place place. Do they have all land? What is yeah, it? Yeah, it's it? all land. It's a, I think it's a big farm. Oh, what where is that anyways? Middle of the country, right? South of Illinois. Uh. I think it's Is southwest. It one or two states down of Illinois. Southwest of Illinois, Most probably I think. Most to the, to the, oh. Like next to, to like. the west of Tennessee, probably? Now I gotta go look this up, wait. Let's see how close it was. Oh, it's, it was really far. Uh, I, I was pretty far. No, that's Wyoming. I'm sorry. Wisconsin. I feel like you were pretty close. Was it? Oh, I was. It's north of Illinois? Really? Oh. I was thinking Michigan. It's southwest of Michigan. It's, it's just west of Michigan. It's not even south. Oh. Huh. Wow. I, I actually... In my mind, I feel like I'm pretty good with geography. In my mind, I switched Wisconsin and Illinois. Hmm. They're both kind of thought, you know, the same of nothing. Yeah, and if I and if that was right, I'd be I'd uh, be right about those other stupid things I said, like west of Tennessee. I don't Tennessee. know. Nobody has ever in their life said, "Hey, let's go take a trip to Wisconsin." You know what's weird? They have the green. They have Green Bay Packers. That team's good. I'm like, man, Wisconsin's so north. I kind of thought they'd be a like a Midwest state. They're a fuck. They're a northern state, which is weird. I don't know why. I no, I stopped. Um, I don't know why they're so north. It just it, Wisconsin it doesn't feel like a northern state. I don't know why they're so north because they are. <laughs> uh, it doesn't. No, it doesn't make sense. They're like aligned with us. Like, they are a cold state. I don't think Wisconsin cold. For some reason, I just think Wisconsin boring. And I hope you don't have any views from Wisconsin, because we're just roasting their state. I'm sure it's a pretty state. Though. Nah, I'm sure people from Wisconsin feel the same way that we feel about Wisconsin. <laughs> you know what's cool? I have a client out in Montana. Man, they are the happiest client I've ever spoke to. Isn't that actually, they maybe I'm wrong, but isn't that actually, like, one of the happiest states? Is Montana? I would not be surprised. They are so happy. It's just like this. Like, nothing, it's just chill. Enjoyable. Dude, and the company is so cool. I was talking to them one day, and they go, and I was like, hey, dude, I didn't catch you on a meeting last week. Where were you? He goes, ah, oh, man, I ended up taking that day off on a whim. Uh, it snowed here, and I wanted to uh, I wanted to go skiing with my kids. So I took my kids out of school and went skiing that day. I was like, what? Goes, yeah, man, it just randomly snowed, so we all went skiing. I was like, just on a whim? Goes, yep, it, it was a good day to go. I was like, that's really cool that your company allows you to do that. Like, that's positive company culture. Like, man, it's a good day out. I'd love to go skiing. I'd love to go to the mountains. And they're like, like yeah, enjoy it. 
took the kids out of school too. I was like, that's awesome. Our company and these are the happiest people I've spoken to. Our company just introduced the, uh, the uh, or well, I was talking to uh, the guy that you know. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. And we were sitting yeah. there talking, and he pitched, and I was like, there's like a big, uh, we do rocks every quarter, which are like, rocks. or I think it's like every two quarters, so it's like twice yeah. annually. Okay. Uh, there are, like, things that we do to try and update the company to stay up with, like, cultural changes and, like, things like that. Like, we did, like, oh, cool. one on, like, yeah. uh, meeting effectiveness and, like, uh, okay. workplace benefits and, like, stuff like that. Yeah. And he was pitching. He's One of them was he was pitching, uh, and I'm all for it, he was pitching uh, paid volunteer time. I was like. That's oh, that's awesome. Cool. So you could uh, do like 16 hours a quarter in paid volunteer time. You just get a, something signed and then you can give it to them and then you get your wage for those 16 hours. So if you did like two full days at something, and I was like, oh. Almost like giving yourself a bonus. That's really cool. It's a little bonus and then you do some volunteer time. You get yourself out there. You got to help some people. All about the community, baby. It's like that's that's really cool, actually. I'm going to try and push it at my company. I think it's a great idea. I was like, that's awesome. I'll go speak to my other administrator, see if that's something we could execute on. I think that's a really cool idea. And, or or the other one was, he's like, we could do the paid volunteer time, or we could do a paid, like, sponsor event. Like, the volleyball yeah. thing that you did, where you did the big volleyball for 24 yeah. hours for the uh, childhood cancer. Yeah, uh, it was a lot longer than 24 hours. We did an eight-hour session, but it was literally... I think it was four days. It was Thursday to Sunday night. They were trying to set the record for the longest continuous volleyball tournament or something. Yeah. I think we failed by like 24 hours, but we weren't even trying. I think this next year they're going to try and do it, the full thing. But we took an eight-hour session and represented the company that uh, Alex used to work for. Mm. And everyone signed up. It was a great, great time. Great time. Yeah, so they're also considering maybe either doing like paid volunteer time or doing mm -hmm. like a paid event like that. Where they sponsor it, yeah. and then we uh, really cool. also get paid if we attend. Just like hmm. a small, whatever, the one day, the one yeah. day, an extra day of pay, it's definitely worth it. Like, Yeah, that makes sense. No, that's really cool. Our, our company's currently we're trying to figure out four-day weeks. I think we're going to start testing it soon. Ooh. Are you extending the days, or are you just doing four eights, and then, like, answer emails on the fifth? Four eights, answer emails on the fifth. I don't think we're going to try and extend I feel like in marketing it'd be tough to extend it because nobody else is gonna nobody else is gonna want to talk to you after those times anyway. Well, the, the the weird thing is we have a lot of West Coast clients, so extending hours isn't bad for the East Coast. Extending hours for the West Coast, we only have we have two or three people on the West Coast, so like we can't extend their hours. They just have to get on earlier, hmm. which they don't want to. So I'm like, yeah, you don't have to. You know, trying to get up at 6 a.m. and start working hard at 6 a.m. I couldn't imagine. It's a tough sell. Alrighty. Yeah, I know. I. Yeah. Alrighty, uh, that brings us to the end of this episode and end of the series. I'm going to still be doing builds for Farm Together. And I think now, as I wrapped up this series and these uh, Let's Play series, I'm gonna pl end up playing this game offline. I've been like hesitant to play it offline to not advance it too far. So uh, now I'm just probably going to jump on for like an hour every day to make sure I get some ribbons and some diamonds and stuff and really set it up so I can start doing uh, builds maybe on a weekly basis would probably be the goal, but we will see. But uh, I really appreciate everyone's viewership and support on this series. If you guys haven't already, make sure you subscribe and go check out Bring the Party's channel. He's uh, in my communities tab. He also has a farm to get. That's the still going? No, oh, that's done. 20 episodes. Enjoy 20. It. He also has 20 good old episodes of Farm Together over there. Uh, am I missing anything? Oh, we currently have a Shop Keep series going on. which is We fun. also have a Shop e Keep series. That's me and Josh together every episode on his channel. And it's a lot of fun. I can't imagine anyone looking up Shop Keep to watch Shop Keep content. But they might be looking up Shop. They might be just wanting to watch there some good anyone. content. Huh? Just so you know. There isn't anyone looking it up. According <laughs> to my analytics, no one's looking it up. Nobody's looking it up, but it's good content. It's a lot of fun. It's fun to watch. All right, guys. Thanks again, everyone. I'll see all of you in that next one. Bye.